You may know about Whedon Island's great hiking trails and peaceful mangrove tunnels, but do you know about the people who originally called that area home before it even had a name? Photojournalist Mike Hughes takes us behind the scenes of Whedon Island's past and current archaeological discoveries. Most people know Whedon Island for its nature and its uh, kayak trails and walking trails, and it is a beautiful um, uh, nature preserve. A lot of people don't really realize that um, Whedon Island has a very long history, uh, Native American history that probably goes back at least 8,000 years, uh, maybe a little bit older. My name is Robert Austin. Uh, I'm a co-founder and principal archaeologist with AWARE. The Whedon Island site is um, important uh, because uh, back in the 1920s, the Smithsonian Institution came here and did an excavation uh, and uh, found these incredible decorated pottery in a burial mound context. It took archaeologists uh, a little while before they were able to integrate that information into the wider prehistory of the southeast. As it turns out, the uh, Whedon Island site is considered the type site for a uh, prehistoric Native American culture called Whedon Island. We're at the AWARE research station at Whedon Island, and within that research station we have a laboratory, archaeological laboratory, and that's where we're at right now. When the Smithsonian Institution excavated here in the 1920s, they found in the burial mound, they found ornately decorated ceramics. Some of the most fascinating parts of understanding Whedon Island and its history is, is the um, history of everyday life and domestic areas and how people really lived in a marine environment. This is just some examples of the kinds of tools that they would make out of marine shells. This is, these are mostly woodworking tools. This is a uh, buzzycon or whelk shell. Um, they would take the shell, pound a hole in it, you can see the beveling there. Spear points, not, sometimes used as knives. These date a little bit earlier. Oh, I should say that the earliest pottery here is about 4,000 years old. We haven't really scratched the surface, even though there's been a lot of archaeological work out here in the past 20 years or so. Uh, this is your basic Florida shell midden. Shell midden is basically um, organic material, sh uh, food remains, uh, mostly shell, animal bone, in this case, mostly fish bone and artifacts that were discarded uh, from day-to-day uh, -day life. The site itself is about 300 and some acres. So uh, I would say that probably much less than 10% of the site has been professionally excavated. We anticipate finding much, much, much more. I think the sites like Whedon Island and as an aside, we're lucky in the city of St. Petersburg because we have several major archaeological sites preserved in, in city parks that people can visit. But I think one of the, the maybe the primary reason why I do archaeology and a lot of archaeologists do archaeology is to bring that information about the past, not just to describe how people lived, but also to give them a sense of the deep history that we have here uh, that the people who lived here thousands of years ago um, were sophisticated people that really knew how to live off the environment. I think people, when they leave this site, I hope they have a better understanding of our past, and I hope they can leave with a respect for why it's important to preserve these sites. And if you want to get your hands dirty and learn how to become an amateur archaeologist, AWARE has a volunteer program. For more information, you can find them online at aware.org.